I am proudly bringing you not proudly because one is fake, but so today I have two almost identical Van Cleef Van Der Pels vintage Alhambra bracelet in the yellow gold with mother of pearl five motif bracelets to show you all of the differences. So I don't want to talk too much here, but don't forget the giveaway details are coming up, but don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now you're like tricking me. This is the fake one. Okay. This is the fake one. Okay. Let's try one more time. Let's try one more time just so you know that I am really feeling it and I can tell from the sound, the weight, um, because it is something that you guys might not be able to feel through the camera, but I'm feeling it for you. So let's go one more time. <laughs> this is Oh. This is the fake one. So this is fake. See, this is how we're gonna get started today. I'm going to be dissecting the very, very, very popular Van Cleef Van Arpels Vintage Alhambra bracelet in yellow gold with mother of pearl. One of them belongs to me, while the other one is not an authentic piece. So now we're gonna dive into all of the details that I wanted to show you and compare the two in all aspects. Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. Before I get into today's really fun and interesting comparison between two bracelets, just a friendly reminder, if you missed last week's video, there is an Hermes giveaway coming up on the channel. It is going to be a $1,000 value giveaway. There will be three winners, I will handpick them, and all the rules and details are coming up. So if you're watching this right now, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'm super, super excited. We're gonna get into today's fun video. So you saw the intro after you guys have seen the comparison on the Cartier Love bracelets or the Cartier Just on Clue bracelets. The Van Cleef one is another requested video from some of the viewers. So finally, I did some research, I did some homework, and once again, I just wanted to put it out there. The video we make on the channel are educational intended because I want to show you all of the aspects of luxury. So I would not be able to answer questions as to where I get this piece because I literally just bought it to use for the video and then I'm not going to be using it again. I think that's an important information for you to know. So now it is your turn to have a look at these two very similar bracelets and let me know which one you decide for now that is genuine and which one is not. I will be comparing them from the outer boxes because this one actually came with one so you guys have a closer look and decide which one is real, which one is not and enjoy your time looking at them right now. I hope you're able to get a clearer picture now and we are going to start the comparison in three, two, one, now. Like I said, we're going to start with the boxes and on the left one is the genuine box and on the right one is the super fake box and you can clearly see the color differences between the pigments and also the texture on these boxes. So the original box is made with a suede material on the outside and the super fake one has this fiber like kind of material which imitates the suede texture however when you look at it you can see that the woven of the fabric is a lot thinner than the actual suede leather for those of you who say in the videos that things look very similar there's you know only visuals i can present to you so i'm going to give both of them a swoosh 
and on the actual suede leather you can actually see the leather coming from one side to another whereas this artificial material just stays the same so in person you can see a lot more clearer than on videos but i'm trying my best here all right all right for your eyes only you can see now very very clearly the two different textures on the real box which is suede and the fake box which is a type of fabric material let's take a look at the quality on the boxes the real one has pretty much seamless details versus the one on the right all the corners are kind of folded in it's really really roughly made and the same bat quality continued on all four corners if you place them right next to each other you can see that they are similar i mean they're almost identical in sizes but you can tell the color and the details are just so different Moving on to the logo, hope you're able to see that this is the super fake logo which lacks of clarity versus the original one that is stamped clearer. I know this is just the bottom of both boxes, but it's really fun to look into. Besides the visual, I can feel that the bottom of the real box feels like a genuine piece of leather and it's smoother and very fine grained versus the super fake box that has this leather or material that tries to imitate the texture of leather but it feels very rough and also you can tell the detail is not closed correctly. Over here I took two photos so it's more static for you guys to look at. The top one is the brand hot stamp on the inside of the box on top of a suede material and the bottom one is a super fake. And you can tell that there are two different fonts used here. The super fake one clearly does not have the same font as the original one. And here they are right next to each other. You can clearly see the color differences between them. The left, the real one, has a black interior, but because of the material, the black came out a little bit grayish. Whereas the super fake one on the right has black interior and also the top lid closes differently than the original one. However, the bottom looks similar. The inner tab on the real one is on the upper right corner versus the fake one that is on the lower right corner and let me do the touch and feel test for you and describe what i can feel here the real one feels really puffy soft and then you can push it in and then it bounces back right away and here's the touch and feel test on the super fake one you can see it's very stiff to press in i'm not sure what they use underneath but it seemed like the corner is the best way to test it it does have some movement, but compared to the real one, where when you press the corner, you can clearly see that it's really well cushioned versus the right one. That's just kind of stiff and hard. Interesting stuff. Another interesting view, if I feel from the top, is the puffiness of the cushion kind of comes out all the way. You can see it from this angle. And if I were to move over to the super fake one, it kind of is just tucked in in the back. It's not puffy enough to stand out. I'm going to take out the tabs here and compare them to you as well because I find them to be very, very different. So the thing I notice when I'm taking both of these inner tabs out is that on the super fake one, this inlay kind of just sits there versus the real one, it kind of sits in, so it's a lot more snug and can secure things. And also the elastic bands on both of these inserts are also very different. Now let's compare the actual contents, which are these two bracelets. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I did modify the length on the original one, so it is going to be appear a little bit shorter. I purposely laid both of them out on a canvas so you can see the minor color difference, I would say, because both pieces are meant to be yellow gold in the original condition. However, the left side appeared a little bit more rosy than the right, which is the super fake one. The first stop I'm going to show you will be the hoops. As you guys know that I have discovered this golden eagle stamp on the authentic piece, which is the one that's showing right here in this frame. And I'm not really sure what this is. If you guys can see what shape is trying to imitate, please leave it in the comment. To me, it's not really any defined shape. Next are the clasps. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to make a decision here before we zoom in. All right, if you voted for the left one to be the real one, then you have a good eye. 
How I look at it is the sharpness of the actual closure and even that has been carefully designed. So on the fake one is actually just round and it doesn't have a perfect shape. And if we move up to the VCA plaque over here, you can see the one on the right does not sit properly in its place and also the engraving look like it's very rough work as well. You can see the original clasp has more of a defined shape and it's sharper compared to the super fake. And when I zoomed in more, you can see that everything is perfectly aligned on this golden plaque here, including the brand logo. And it just looks very pleasant to the eye and all the details are nicely cut out. And the details on the super fake one are just kind of astonishing as well. Look at the shape. It's not fully aligned to the shape of the plaque and it's a little bit crooked. And also the little tongue inside, you can see that it's not nicely defined versus this one that is just sharp and nice. And here we go again another angle for you. The little tongue inside just looks very, very roughly done compared to the original one that is nice and sharp, despite both of them have been used a little bit. And you can see some discoloration on the right clasp, which is the super fake one, despite it's kind of brand new. I've only used it for the video. And here's another interesting detail of the closing hoop between the clasp and the bracelet. The real one is pretty much straight and uh, you know, you can actually open it versus the super fake over here where you can clearly see a bulge there. Welcome to the next section, which is going to be all the little details on the bracelet. But first, let's take a look at the serial number. First is the real one and you can clearly see the serial number. It has a very clear legibility. You can read it right away versus the super fake one, you can tell it's not engraved completely nice and neat and the letter looks kind of odd as well. And also the pearl beads around it doesn't look as full and beautiful as the original one. Here's one more shot of the original one. It just looks perfect to the eye, don't you think? Here's the other side where it has the VCA engraving and the gold hallmark AU750 on the original one. It's very sharp, appealing to the eye versus the fake one. Also, the letters are not as neat, as nice as the original. And here they are on top of each other. The top is the original piece versus the super fake on the bottom. You can see the letter have clear, clear differences between the two. The top one is sharper and more symmetrical. The bottom one is just very, very all over the place. Also, you can see the color differences between the two a little bit. Let's put them right next to each other and look at the bigger details. Let's first take a look at the details on the hoops. Can you see the connecting hoops that's on the top and the bottom end where it where the chains are connected? You can clearly see that the original one on the left has a rounder and more of a perfect hoop. Moving over to the right, you can see these hoops are not even perfectly finished. It has a lot of flaws on it, a lot of indentation on both top and the bottom. For those of you who are not sure what I was talking about, here you go. The two round hoops connecting the chain and the charm, you can see clearly one is just perfect and then the other one is not even round and also it has a lot of indentations. So details are everywhere and giveaways are everywhere as well. Let's take a look at the prowns and you can see the one on the right, the super fake one. What happened over there? My guess is perhaps they put in the mother of pearl gem and then they were trying to close the prongs and somehow they damaged it. And switching over to the original one, you can clearly see the difference between the two now that they're next to each other. All of the prongs are perfectly closed and there's no weird indentation or anything. You know, the very inexcusable hoop closure. However, the chains, they seem to look similar, even though one is not the real gold, which is the one on the right, and they look passable. But if you look at the hoop again, it's just such a disgrace that they are able to produce something like this. Another passable work I would give them credit to is probably the cut of the mother of pearl, just by the color differences. 
If you paid attention, I'm pretty sure you can see the color differences between the two. And the one on the left one is the original one, which even though it's a yellow gold, it appears to be a little bit more rosy compared to the fake one on the right. You can probably see it mostly on the chains as well. Some of you are probably wondering what the thickness of the charms look like and here is a visual for you. You can see besides the neat work and not so neat work on the fake one on the right, they are almost the same size, same height according to my measure here. So it's not too big of a difference between the two. But then there's all the differences we just compared in previous footage. I am going to weigh both pieces for you and over here we have the copy and it weighs about eight grams and also the metal is not gold so it's significantly lighter and if you watch the video until this point you probably have heard me mention that this piece had eight links removed to fit my wrist so it's going to be shorter and slightly lighter than the original size and it came out to be about 11 grams so two grams difference but this had eight little inner links removed total so there you go so what do you guys think isn't it scary that the copy is scary good so at the end of the day a fake is a fake no matter how super fake it is and i really think if you happen to just buy something from online and you have nothing to compare to it is going to be a little bit challenging to identify all the details however when you have another piece that you're able to compare you can look at three things immediately which is the color the weight and the sound it makes and even though there's only two gram differences well, I'm gonna say four gram because I had some links removed. Even though it's that tiny difference, I believe when you close your eyes, your other senses will kick in and when you place them on your hand, you're able to feel the slight four gram differences between the real and the fake. And also details really give everything away. If you missed it, you can go back and watch it again on the clasp, which is really important because of the branding and also the details. And also on the hoops, there's no eagle stamp on it whatsoever. Ever. And if you have watched the previous Van Cleef videos on the channel, you know that there are pretty much Gold Eagle Hallmark or Gold Eagle stamp on all of the hoops because that is an identification for French gold. Lastly, the details of the pearl beads are a signature of Van Cleef's. It's not something that is so easy to replicate without spending a lot of time. Super on. fakes are just very super speedy copiers, so they don't really care about these details. And you know what I'm going to say? Say, if you have watched videos before, luxury is really all in the details and it's all about it. No matter how you inspect it, how you check it, especially when you have another comparison that is not the original, you can clearly see the differences. So I really hope you're able to find some takeaways from the video and that could help assist you in the future when you're purchasing anything from designer goods, if it's not from a boutique. So let me know if you think this video is helpful or if you like to see more because I love doing this for you guys. If you don't have the original piece to compare with, I would recommend you guys to look into three things, the hoops, the chains, and also the details of the beads because those are big giveaways, no matter how good of a copy they are. So going forward, if you bought something from online that you aren't sure where the source is, I think maybe you should rewatch this video and catch on to those details because at least in the video, there are two pieces, one one real one and the one super fake one for you to compare so you can kind of benchmark it that way but definitely let me know if you think they look super similar or if it's something that you definitely will pass because it is just not the original piece let me know in the comment section below and just to remind you at the end of the video that we have an exciting giveaway that is going to be a $1,000 in value total. So I look forward to having you guys get on the channel. I will be announcing the details of the video very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care guys. Bye. It's time.